Budget battle taking one hairstyle and two different sets of products. Cheap versus expensive. Hi guys, so why I'm Robin. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to this new video. Now, straight up, I actually think I've ripped myself off. Budget battle, brand battle, am I really doing this? I wanted to do this because quite often when I'm doing uh, hairstyle tutorials, you guys will say, that's great, but can I use this? Or I don't have this, can I use this? So I wanted to show what you can do, maybe what you can't do on just one hairstyle, but with different products. So I've got one set of products which costs around about the 10 pounds mark for three of them. Then I've got another set of products which costs around about the 60 pound mark for the three of them. Now, if you're new to my channel, you've not yet pressed subscribe, then hi, I'm Robin. This is Man From Self, this is Budget Battle. Is it gonna be a series? Uh, who knows, but I'm sure you guys will let me know. Please do press subscribe right now. Also, all the products that you see today, plus other ones that I've reviewed recently, are all on manfromself.com. A fully dedicated product section, which really is sort of my bible of product. Everything I review goes on there, so please do check it out. But here we go, the Quiff hairstyle, budget battle. Let's see how this goes. Right, I'm gonna start with VO5's rework texture foam. This is very much high street sort of drugstore prices. Um, I find it for about four pounds. As ever, all linked, you'll find the best price. Essentially, really, it's just a mousse. VO5 is like one of the brands that I really sort of grew up with. A slight sort of stickiness to it, but it doesn't feel too bad. It's definitely a slight sort of tackiness and stickiness, a bit of a resistance to it, but we'll keep on going. Okay, there we go, big, big volume. The hair's got a sort of natural gloss to it, a really light hold, so if you're a guy with longer hair and you kind of want just a little bit of texture, a little bit of movement with a mousse-like product, could be good for you. Okay, this time we're gonna pre-style with this. This is MacGyver by a brand called Evil. Now, this is a mousse product, which is again gonna help us get that volume. Smells amazing too. Now, Evil is a hair care brand from Australia. They're all about having clean ingredients, no parabens, uh, no sulfates, no gluten, it's vegan, it's cruelty free, all that good stuff. And they have got loads of products. Uh, less of a stickiness, but definitely feels full. Instantly, the hair feels a lot more coated, and it feels like the product really wrapping it, whereas the VO5 one, just felt a little bit more surface level. Right, my hair feels thick, it feels full. It's huge actually, isn't it? Right, next we're gonna go for the got to be phenomenal molding paste. I would say one thing, if you guys are hot on ingredients and are really looking what's in those, this does include parabens. But again, fullest of uh, the ingredients will be your man from self, all linked. This one's a really sort of almost like fluffy cream. This one's water-based. It's not got the sort of usual suspects that we'd normally see, like kaolin or bentonite or even uh, beeswax. It's just full of various things. This really smells like chemicals. Um, but how does it perform? Okay, <laughs> application. Ooh, fairly smooth, all fine. Styling, we're gonna go up and over. It really has worked some good volume into the hair though. Just layering those two products. Good sort of natural gloss and a light sort of natural hold to it. I know from experience that actually my hair will drop with this product. So as ever, I would finish with a hairspray. Next, I'm gonna style with one of my favorites at the moment. It's the Shoe Revival Northern Lights. This is a matte paste. Now again, like that got to be product, this is water-based. It's actually got aloe vera on the top. Then you've got kaolinite, which is the white clay and then Kira Arba beeswax. Right, application. This has a really reassuring consistency, slightly thicker, it feels fuller, it feels like it's grabbing the hair, which does make it easier for styling. So up and over, and that is so quick to style with, that really is it there. And if we're talking cheap products to finish, for me, it is all about, and has always been about Wellis African Classic. Heavy hold, hair doesn't move. There we go, done. 
I'm gonna finish with the Hans Tefuko hairspray. This has literally gotta be one of the most expensive hairsprays out there. This is 24 pounds. To be honest, do I ever think a hairspray is worth 24 pounds? No, but this does have mega holds, so it is not gonna move at all. So there you go, budget battle. We obviously saw the cheap versus the expensive. I found myself that in doing this, um, like I really liked that VO5 rework, the foam. I thought that worked so well for four pounds, which is so cheap and you get quite a lot for it. I love the matte paste by Sheer Revival and I obviously love the Wellis Open Classic. So it's like I could take two cheap and one expensive and I could live very happy on that. Let me know in the comments below what you would do from this, what you might take. It obviously all depends on your hair type, what kind of style you're wanting, your own personal budgets, but I'm super keen to hear. But thank you again for watching. If you're new to my channel, you've not yet pressed subscribe, then hit subscribe right now. The button is just there. There's also more video suggestions down there. Stay with me and watch them. Head to the blog for the product pages, directly linked there, also in cards, and also my Instagram. Come and follow me up there. But I'll see you in my next new video. Bye-bye.